Good morning, Bethesda Elementary students watching from class today. We're so glad to have you joining us. I'm in here today in the youth hall with all of our fifth grade students and the fifth grade parents are here today. We're so glad to have you joining us. Today is Wednesday, May the 12th, 2021, and I have Abram and Elin here to help out with the pledges today. Please stand and join us for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You can please remain standing for our time of praise and worship, and then our fifth graders will be sharing some special memories from elementary school. Thank you.
Well, good morning, fifth grade families. Each fifth grader has worked very hard on what they are about to share with you. Ms. Myers, Ms. Cook, and I have been very impressed as they have thoughtfully written their goodbye letters to elementary school. Today you will hear uh, things like special memories, personal stories, and important memory verses that have transformed their hearts. You will hear about their spiritual growth and emotional growth and what they look forward to as they enter middle school and also their excitement for lockers <laughs> and much more. Parents, these students will make you proud today. Please help me welcome the Bethesda Christian School fifth graders. Hello, I'm Abram Alexander, and this is how I've grown throughout my time in elementary school. As I was writing the speech, I realized I have grown a lot throughout my time in elementary. In fact, I have been here ever since I was in the nursery. In this year, Miss Bell had her baby, and Miss Cook had to take over as our full-time teacher, and that had changed a lot. That taught me that life changes. This reminds me of Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I think that is a meaningful verse. Now here's one of the teachers that have inspired me a lot, Ms. Patton. Ms. Patton, my loving second grade teacher, Taught me to be, oh, taught me to be very kind and generous, and she is my first step towards God. Now that school is almost out and sixth grade draws near, I'm excited to meet all my new teachers. Speaking of teachers, here's one of my favorites, Miss Massey. Miss Massey was a loving, caring, kind, respectful teacher. She, she helped me through a bunch of hard times. Whenever it was picking on me for being small, she told me that being small was a curse. It was a blessing. She was easily my favorite teacher. She even inspired me to become a missionary. Now that I'm in fifth grade, my teacher, Miss Bell and Miss Cook, are fun and kind and loving. I can say I've grown through graciousness and godliness through them. Lately, I've been concentrating on my work in God about how he's made everything, planned everything out in this world. I think I've grown spiritually and emotionally through, throughout fifth grade. I've had a bunch of important things to tell about this year, so here's one of them. We got whenever we went to or whenever we got to play Star Wars at this year's concert. It was easily one of my favorite things of this year. If any fourth grade is scared, don't be. Because it's a very fun thing you get to do with all of your friends. Now that fifth grade's almost over, I would like to end my speech. Okay. Hi, my name is Riley Bolger, and today I will be sharing my fifth grade speech. 
I've had an excellent time this year at BCS. I've got some special memories here to share. For me, the most special part of this year is when I came walking in with my backpack for the first time. That marked the, the start of my journey in fifth grade. One thing I vividly remember is when I met Parker. He was my first friend and he helped me adapt. One class that I am always happy to go to is Miss Strickland's art class. I enjoy it every time that I go. A Bible verse that helped me through hard times is Proverbs 15, 13. A happy heart makes the heart cheerful, but a heartache crushes the spirit. So I went on through the year, and here I am. So I went through, um, I've learned a lot about Christ, and he has affected me spiritually and emotionally. I've grown in perseverance. I've learned that I can do more than I think I can do. I've also grown in responsibility, too. I've never turned in an assignment late. I'm always looking forward to harder challenges in sixth grade. I'm also looking forward to having more classes to go to. For the fourth graders, I want to tell you that fifth grade is not that bad. Besides, look on the bright side. You'll be the oldest in elementary. You'll also have new experiences to look forward to. Hello, I'm Parker Campbell. I'm in fifth grade, class 5B. I didn't really thought about it, but all my teachers that have been in my up elementary life, including Ms. Bell, have been harder on me than the others. I don't mean it's an offense to the other teachers, but Ms. Johns, Ms. Massey, and Ms. Bell have all had an impact on my life. As Mark 12, 31 says, love your neighbor as yourself, for there's no other greater commandment than this one. I could tell that all my fifth, that all my other elementary teachers were trying to teach me that. In fifth grade, whenever I was having a bad day, I remember coming to school knowing that I could talk to Miss Bell, and she managed to cheer me up. During fifth grade, there were many times I had to have wisdom and obedience, and I won. And I remember back in kindergarten when all. That, that I was worried about was my definition of fun. But now I am mu much less impulsive. <laughs> there are a lot of things that I am looking forward to in sixth grade, specifically having more band concerts. Anyways, I've, anyways, I've experienced so much in elementary school, and I can't wait for middle school. My name is Brian Geary, and I'm going to tell you, to you about how I've grown in elementary. As I looked back on elementary school, there are many things I learned and went through. This year, so many things have happened to me and my family. The day before school, my dad got a text saying that my six-year-old cousin, Micah, passed away and from cancer. Micah's death has impacted me a lot because when I heard he had passed, I felt alone and really sad. But I had to pray to God to give me peace and understanding of how and why it happened. And through this, I have learned to give my questions and worries to God. And I, ha and I had to ha have faith that he would take care of them. This year has had many hardships, but also f many fun memories. One of the fun memories I have had from fifth grade is when we got to do our band concert. It was a lot of fun playing together in front of people. All of the elementary teachers that I have had have impacted my life. But there are a few that impacted me the most. Those people were in upper elementary. They were Miss Johns, Miss Massey, and Miss Bell. In third grade, I lost my great grandpa, and Miss Johns comforted me and helped me through it. She also helped me with things I needed help on a little bit more. Mrs. Massey helped me go deeper into God's word. Mrs. Massey also helped me in academics by showing me how to do Singapore math. One of the main things I remember Miss Massey saying almost every single day was that we were her kids. Mrs. Bell, my teacher right now, has helped me so much this year. She prayed for me after the four deaths of family members. Mrs. Bell also helped me learn and understand some things I didn't know before. This year, there was a Bible verse that helped me. A lot, helped me. It is Philippians 4, 6-7, and it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. 
And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Memory verses like this one helped me through tough times, like when, past, when people passed and when everything was being canceled. From kindergarten to fifth grade, I learned more and more about the Bible. I have grown emotionally when people have passed away and when my friends have left the school. This year, I have especially grown in obedience. I had to obey God and do whatever he called me to do. Even though elementary was so much fun, I'm really ready to move on to sixth grade. I'm very excited not to, ha to not have to wear a uniform, and I'm very excited to decorate and have a locker. The other thing about sixth grade that I'm excited about is that I get to know more teachers and get to know more about them. If any fourth graders are, sc are scared to come to fifth grade, don't be, because fifth grade was so much fun. You get to do many experiments and fun activities. My utmost favorite activity was when we got to make paper. Even though there were hard and fun times through elementary, I learned that going through all of it wouldn't be possible without God. There are many ways that I have grown in elementary school. When school started, I had a back injury that I am still dealing with and it has caused me to miss PE and recess. I was kind of sad that I couldn't play at my favorite part of the day. In fourth grade, my teacher, Miss Watts, helped me when my papa died. She helped me through those hard times. She showed me I could always talk to someone when I'm sad. The verse that has helped me in is Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. In elementary, I have grown in my faith in God in many ways by always being reminded that he is always there for me. For sixth grade, I am looking forward to changing classes and having several teachers. And lastly, for next year's fifth graders, you get a great math teacher. Fifth grade. Here in fifth grade is different from all the other grades. It's much harder because you're just starting to learn new things to help you get ready for sixth grade. You have to learn how to be responsible and trustworthy to your teachers and people around you. After Mrs. Bell expressed to us about our behavior, it made me think and realize how our actions affect others. Like Mrs. Myers would always say, we needed a restart button. Mrs. Bell, Mrs. Myers, and Miss Cook have all helped me to change my ways and how I was acting. It makes me look back on when I was in kindergarten and how much I've changed. I was definitely not a good kid until fourth and fifth grade. Now I can say I'm more responsible and I have more self-control, thankfully. Next year, I am looking forward to having more great teachers, but I'll have to let my fifth grade teachers go so more people can experience the wonderful times that I've had. So all fourth graders should have no fear, like God says, so do not fear for I am with you. Fifth grade is actually more fun and exciting than you would think. How I've grown. I have grown spiritually and physically during my time in elementary. It was really tough during the first quarter of, of fifth grade because I was doing school virtually and there were a lot of struggles. Sometimes my parents were in meetings and I had to figure things out for myself but I was able to come back in the second quarter, and I have been surviving COVID ever since. A, a special memory from this year is something I will for never, never forget, going back to the Maine State Farm. Going back gave me flashbacks of when we went in first grade, and it gave me more time to get, my, to, get to know my classmates even more. Many of my teachers have impacted my life, but there is one teacher who changed my life forever, Mrs. Massey. I consider Mrs. Massey as my second mom. She's, she has changed my life, and I would never be the same without her. One Bible verse that has given me the strength to keep on moving as COVID is present. Psalm 51.10 gave me hope, and it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Give me a spirit that will not be moved. God helped me through all the challenging friendship moments I have experienced during elementary. God has given me faithfulness and wisdom during elementary. I am so excited for next year for lockers, clothing freedom, and multiple classrooms. 
If I have one piece of advice for all fourth graders is that don't estimate, underestimate your teachers, friends, and all your work. God has helped me through elementary, and he will help me throughout middle school, high school, college, and beyond. How I've grown in fifth grade. Looking back over my time in elementary school, I realize there are so many things God has taught me. I have been a part of the Bethesda family since I was four months old. Out of all my years at Bethesda, this year has been the craziest. A Bible verse that has been inspiring to me is Deuteronomy 316, be, be strong and brave. November 3rd, 2020, we went on quarantine for two weeks and it was hard for the fifth grade teachers and students to do school online. A special memory I have from fifth grade was the virtual field trip to Water Rocks. It was fun because we had, because even though it was virtual, we had so many fun activities and games. One teacher who has impacted my life is Ms. Myers. Ms. Myers has taught me to learn and understand math better. One ambassador virtue I feel like I've grown in this year is perseverance. Because even when school gets hard, I persevere. The thing I'm looking forward to the most about fifth, sixth grade is no uniforms because the uniforms are uncomfortable. To the upcoming fifth graders, Ms. Bell, and Ms. Myers make fifth grade so fun and amazing. You will love it. Hi, my name is Nimaya, and this is my time in fifth grade. I've had a great time in fifth grade. I've had a great time in fifth grade. On my first day of fifth grade, I felt like I was in a room with pros. I thought I had to act like them. But when they realized that I thought I didn't fit in, they told me to be myself and not try to be someone else. They told me to be the person God made me to be. So when I acted like myself, I felt like I fit in. Not because I acted like them, but because I acted like myself. I have great new friends and teachers. A teacher that has impacted my life is Miss Bell. She's a smart, loving, and nice teacher. Although she's a little strict, she's very kind. I also have a Bible verse that has impacted my life. It is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. One thing I want to do in sixth grade is dissect a worm or a butterfly. I also want to go on more field trips and wear no uniform. Also, fourth graders. Fifth grade is so much fun. You get to go on field trips, have fun in all the subjects, and have some of the best teachers on the planet. I've had a great time in fifth grade, but I'm excited to move on to sixth grade. My fifth grade experience. In fifth grade, I grew a lot. I found out my grandma got diagnosed with cancer. When that happened, I started to write down Bible verses, like Miss Bell suggested. I chose Psalms 97, 11 through 12. Light shines on the righteous and joy in the, on the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. I also made praying a bigger priority. Because of that, I grew a lot in wisdom and character. I kept praying, and my grandma started to get better. I realized God does everything for a reason and works everything together for good. My advice for the future fourth, fifth graders is listen to your teachers. I'm Nikolai Burgess, and this is my speech, Elementary Memories. This year has challenged and benefited me in so many ways. One of these trials began on April 28th, waiting to drive to church for Wednesday night activities. We got a tornado watch, so I felt a little scared going to church, but soon forgot about it. Although, when we were about to leave, we were issued a tornado warning. Our mom told us to come home, but we were questioning why. We obeyed, and we were soon safe in our tornado shelter. If we had stayed at church, our car would have been demolished and abandoned at church without a way to get home. Through a Category 1 tornado, God helped me grow in obedience, faith, and peace. 
A special memory from fifth grade is when I went to my friend's Dylan birthday party since we got to spend so much time together, making us much better friends. A teacher that has made a difference in my, my life is Miss Massey. She always prepared us for what we are up against in the world and encouraged us when we did the right thing. I have changed so much from kindergarten to fifth grade. I got marks weekly in kindergarten and a few in first grade. But as I got older, I became a better student in behavior. For fourth graders, fifth grade is not much different. It is still fun and you should not be scared at all. I am looking forward to not having to wear uniforms next year, having multiple teachers and switching classes myself. But I am also nervous about more homework and more serious consequences. Although Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Fifth grade. This year I have been practicing baseball with my grandpa, and because of that I got my first hit and caught a pop fly in the second game of the season. Only a few people have impacted my life, but one that did was Mrs. Massey. My nickname in her class was Emmett for Emmett Smith, and then later that year I actually met Emmett Smith. The verse found in Philippians 4.13 has given me encouragement because lots of things this year were hard and different. I have grown closer to the Lord by reading my Bible a lot more. This year I have grown in perseverance and in truth. In sixth grade, I'm really looking forward to sports, lockers, and band. For the kids coming to fifth grade next year, don't wait till the last day to study. It's horrible. Fifth grade. On the very first day of fifth grade, I was so excited to actually go to school and see all of my friends. The very moment I walked into the classroom, I realized my life would be very different. When I walked into the school, I saw the temperature checks and masks. As I walked into the classroom, there were a few people missing, and the classroom just didn't feel complete without them. I had no doubt that my teacher, Miss Myers, would help make this year awesome and help in my, my year, just as every teacher I've ever had at Bethesda has done. As the year has grown, it has begun to feel more and more like the way it used to. I realized that COVID was a new normal, and I had to have faith and trust that God knew what he was doing, and trust he always had a plan or a rhyme and a reason for things that I may sometimes don't understand. This is why one of my favorite Bible verses is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. So through all of this crazy COVID and even through my life, I've been able to trust in the Lord and know he always has a plan for me. I could not imagine my life without Jesus. I would be miserable. Because of my trust in Jesus and all my amazing teachers, I have I have been able to grow spiritually as well as emotionally. After all these amazing years at Bethesda, I am ecstatic about sixth grade. I know it will be a phenomenal year. To the fourth graders, if any of you are worried at all about moving to fifth grade, my advice would be that every second of fifth grade was, is magnificent. Hi, my name is Elon Fontenot, and today I will be telling you about my fifth grade year. This year was a difficult year, but I pushed through. It was a little hard coming to a new school, but I prayed about it, and it ended up being for the best. Also, I got to meet new friends like Kinley, Lillian, and Aubrey. I love my teacher, Miss Myers. She is kind, understanding, and helped me get adjusted. Then I got to play an instrument, a French horn. I feel like I am really progressing and hitting all the notes. Also, volleyball was another one of my favorite things to do this year. Then we did an in-person field trip. It was so fun. We got to go on a huge slide with potato sacks and go on a hayride. In PE, we got to go roller rollerblading around the parking lot. It was super fun, and I can't wait to do it again next year. A verse that I think has guided me this year is Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Also, I have spiritually grown a lot in my prayer life since kindergarten to now, and I'm hoping to grow more. Emotionally, I have also grown a lot, and I am much stronger in emotional situations, too. God has helped me develop more wisdom and perseverance by learning new things and finishing homework on time. 
In sixth grade, I am looking forward to no uniforms, having lockers, and switching classes. If there are any fourth graders stressed, worried, or anxious about fifth grade, don't feel bad because I was that way too. If that's you, I would encourage you to pray. Fifth grade is fun, and the teachers are awesome. Overall, I love being at the school, and I can't wait to come back next year. I have grown in fifth grade by Jake Austin James Hancock. How I've grown in fifth grade. I've met new friends, new teachers, and new things. A friend I met was named Dylan. Years ago when I broke my arm, Dylan would talk to me at recess when I couldn't play. He, was been, he has been my friend since second grade. He taught me to be more patient when someone is hurt. This year, my mom's friend passed away. He died from liver cancer. He fought it since October. He was important to me because I spent mo I spent a lot of my birthdays with him. He was he was ve always very funny and very fun. This taught me to be more brave in hard times. A fun day I had in fifth grade was the day when we went to Main State Farm. It was very fun. My favorite thing we did there was washing the goats. My fa my favorite teacher was Miss Schufler. She taught me to be more kind to be to be more kind. Psalm 103, 8 reminds me how loving the Lord is all the time. I'm now m more kind and loyal to the Lord in fifth grade. God has helped me develop kindness and responsibility. I'm, I'm looking forward to switching classes in, in sixth grade. Some advice for all the people going into fifth grade next year, I recommend to study hard and have fun. Hi, my name is Braley, and I'm going to be sharing to you my years at school. Our God has placed everyone in this school so you can learn his word. Over these years, God has inspired me to become more wise and joyful and to also be the bigger person. I have had some difficult relationships, and I have been able to grow and see how others have changed for good as well. My teachers have been the best. Ms. Lindstrom has helped me understand that I am not alone and that God is with me. Ms. Johns has also helped me understand that my mom is there for me. When I was little, my dad left me and my mom. It was very hard for my mom. She worked three jobs to, to provide for me. Since then, I am able to see my dad every other weekend. His fiance had a baby last month, and now sometimes it feels as if his new family is more important than my mom and I. A verse that has helped, helped encourage me is Psalm 103, 11 through 12. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. To encourage fourth grade, some advice would be to do your homework right when you get it, so then you won't forget about it and fit, fit it in the whole day. A special memory from this year was at the band concert when the clarinets won the Golden Wax Lips Award. Next year, I think it will be hard in sixth grade, but I am looking for new challenges. Fifth grade, when I first came to Bethesda this year, everything seemed different. We did temperature checks, had a very long line coming into school, and some people wore masks in the building like me. Although this year seemed quite scary at the beginning, we slowly got used to it. Those who impacted me were Kinley and Lillian because they were the ones who I knew best. They helped me to know everyone who I didn't know. I appreciate all the teachers that I had previously. Right now, the teacher I have is Mrs. Myers, and she is funny and caring. How I have grown from kindergarten till now is through kindness, obedience, and responsibility. Through all my years here at this school, I have learned to be more kind to others, be obedient to all the teachers, and to be responsible for my words and actions. One Bible verse that always helps me in everything is Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Although we sometimes give up doing something, this verse teaches us to never give up. It also teaches everyone to demonstrate res responsibility. If we are responsible, then others will trust us in what we do. A special memory from this year is coming back to the school. I'm very grateful that I'm able to talk to my friends again, see all the teachers that I had in first, second, and third grade, and meet new people. Anyone who's afraid of going to fifth grade shouldn't be because they will have the best times of their lives. The teachers always find fun ways to do assignments and projects like the European Country Project. 
Also, never wait to study or practice at the last minute. Next year, I'm looking forward to meeting all the teachers and requ requirements, but most importantly, learn more about God, our Almighty Father. Growing in Christ. Growing in Christ. All through the years, I've grown by God's grace. I've learned to be strong and that life is not a race. I have persevered through it all. I would get up if I happened to fall. If life got hard or tough, I could lean on God to lead me on. I've had to grow in faith to live life at God's pace. As I enter sixth grade, I ask God, will life be the same? I may not know the answer to this question until the time comes, but I will continue to live life trusting God. One of my favorite Bible verses is Proverbs 31, 26. She speaks with wisdom. Her faithful instructions are on her tongue. Just like this verse states, all my teachers have taught me in wisdom and grace. All through my elementary years, I have been able to strengthen my relationship with Christ and learn more about self-control. This year, I have made so many new memories, but one of my favorite moments would have to be Mainstay Farm. We had so much fun on many different things. In the end, fifth grade was filled with so many new experiences. And to anyone going into fifth grade, don't be afraid. You will love it. Elementary school. There are many people who have impacted my life. A lot of the people who have impacted my life are all of the teachers I have had. There are many reasons why I loved each teacher. A lot of the teachers that impacted my life were in upper elementary. My upper elementary teachers were Ms. Schufler, Ms. Massey, and Ms. Myers. Ms. Schufler was very kind and loving to her class and I. Ms. Massey was one of my favorite teachers. She was kind, encouraging, and also a little strict, but all of that helped me persevere. Ms. Myers, which is my teacher now, is very funny. A special memory from this year is coming back to school for the first time in five months. A Bible verse that has helped me is Romans 15, 13. It is made the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace so that you may overflow by the power of the Holy Spirit. From kindergarten to fifth grade, I feel like every year I have grown not only in stature, but like Jesus in more ways than one. In sixth grade, I am looking forward to free dress. For the next fifth graders, I have to tell you that fifth grade will be hard, but if you work hard and persevere, you will do just fine. I think that I have had some of the best elementary years ever, and they have impacted my life so much. Special things about elementary. A memory verse that has impacted my life is Psalm 119, 105. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light unto my path. When COVID started and lasted forever, I wanted to do stuff that we could not. When it happened, it taught me patience, and I was happy that I had friends to play with so that I was not bored. I'm very glad that I have made good friends along the way. One friend I made in particular was Jake Austin. I made friends with him, with Jake Austin, when he had a broken arm. I'm super glad I made friends with him because he helped me a lot. A teacher that has made a difference in my life is Miss Patton. She taught chapel and taught me a lot of things in the Bible. I have changed a lot by learning more about Jesus. God has helped me to have wisdom when I'm in tough situations. Something that I am looking forward in sixth grade is having lots of teachers. I want to encourage the new fifth graders to not be worried about going to fifth grade because it's very fun. Fifth grade, we are extremely proud of you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo -hoo! Good job. We have had a wonderful year with these kids, and we just want to thank all of you, parents, for entrusting us with your children. 
It has been a difficult year, but all of them have persevered, and it's been a joy and a privilege for Miss Bell, Miss Cook, and I to teach them. So we thank you. We would like to take this time to pray for them. That's the best thing that we can do as they move to sixth grade. So I would like to ask for all of fifth grade, could you please come forward? Parents, if you are willing and feel comfortable, if you'd like to come closer to the stage where we can at least stretch out a hand to our kiddos, if you don't, you can stay right where you are, and that is perfectly fine as well. Come on in, guys. Come on in. We need everybody up here, please. Crowd in together. Let's pray for our kids. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you and praise you for who you are and how you've created each and every one of them. We thank you for the gift that they are, not only to their teachers, but to this world. Lord, I thank you for the strengths, gifts, and talents that you've given to each and every one of them, for the ways that they have changed, persevered, and been a light for Christ this year. God, we ask that as you guide them, that you would be that voice speaking behind them, Lord, that you would fill them with the Holy Spirit, that they would walk forward in grace and in love. Lord, that you would give them mercy for each day, that you would be the lamp to their feet, Lord, as they move on from grade six and all of their years and beyond. Father, we thank you and we leave them in your hands and ask that you would just guide them to the best that you see fit for their lives. And may we do our best to complete the work that you have given to each and every one of us. May we fulfill your purpose as we move on every day. We thank you and praise you for all that you're doing. I thank you for these families. I thank you for the love and the um, grace that they have given to us this year, Lord. I praise you and thank you for these families. Bond them together in your love in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to dismiss chapel here in a minute. Just for you teachers in classrooms, um, thank you so much. I know chapel ran a little long today, but thank you so much for your kind attention. This is our very last chapel of the school year. Next week, we have um, awards night practice happening. So I won't, don't want to finish the school year out with saying thank you to Connor and Mr. Isket, who have run sound and tech for us all throughout the school year. Michael Bell's helped out with that, Cliff as well. So let's give those guys a round of applause. <laughs> We truly could not do this without you and certainly couldn't be live on the classroom projectors if that wasn't the case of having so much help. So we're so, so very grateful. Thank you for joining us today and have a wonderful Wednesday.